new stock in today. Come take a look. Your service? What can I get for you today? No challenge is too great with a full stomach. You want to test my hand? Touch my tail? And uh, now. Hey, don't. Mm. Officer 148, Ju Yuan, ready. The way is blocked. Let's keep going up the stairs. Set the meeting time a little early, just in case. There are still some ethereals ahead. We best get rid of this. Still first. That's why you got here early? To deal with the ethereals? Indeed. As an attendant, the safety of my client is paramount. Maximum firepower! 
is over there. Let's go talk to her. Stay idle this morning. Lycon! No way, you... this so-called mockingbird I attempted to get into contact with them to express my desire to join their organization through my own methods I found out they had already looked into my background and knew that although I am currently working for lilac's family I am actually loyal to an unknown master could I trouble you with putting on an act with me 
I would like you to meet with them, posing as this unknown master. Leave it to me. I'm a great master. Fantastic. I expect no less from New Eridu's greatest proxy. In order to help our disguise, I have crafted a new identity for you. You needn't worry. Simply speak as you typically would. Oh ho! So you are the one who wishes to join Mockingbird. You may call me Codename K. What do you think? It's a great name, ain't it? Doesn't it sound awe-inspiring? K? That's a weird name. It's Codename K! Don't just get rid of words in other people's names! Without the codename part, it won't show any of the awesome epicness of me being a final villainous boss! Oh, so you are also into the trending subcultures among young people? What trending subcultures? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, you must be the rumored attendant Lycon and the Gemini Gods. Wait a minute. What, what, what the heck is Gemini Gods? That's clearly not a real name. My master has many enemies. Please understand that they cannot reveal their true name. Their uh, enemies? Uh, very well then. Since we're all in the same line of business, I'll be straight with you. Lilac is our golden ticket. We put in a lot of effort to get her to bite. We gotta squeeze every last drop we can get. We plan to take care of her for a bit after she mistakenly stumbles into the hollow, and then contact her parents for some of that dough. You have a similar plan, right? How about we work together? We can split it 70-30. 70, 70 for us, 30 for you. Isn't that just kidnapping? Kidnapping? How very ignorant of you. We're just taking a little fee for looking after a poor kid in the hollow. So what do you say? Of course, I'm in. As my master says, it's a deal. So it's settled. Quick and forthright as expected of a fellow business person. I'll send you the time and location later. We shall eagerly await your message. That should do it. Once we are there, we can pretend to work with them, photograph all the evidence of their wrongdoings, and then send the evidence to public security. Thank you for your cooperation. You are quite adept at acting. Just what kind of identity did you give me? Simply put, you are an influential and all-powerful head honcho of a crime syndicate that delights in doing evil. You have a network of elite agents at your beck and call, and I am one of your humble enforcers. Ah, right. There is something else I would like to discuss with you. Please do not inform Miss Lilac of any of this just yet. Speaking from personal experience, an encounter such as this cannot be resolved purely through reliance on others. We can help Miss Lilac deal with this threat, but we cannot protect her forever. She must see through this conspiracy herself. Perhaps this may be somewhat cruel, but in the long term, it will help her. Yeah, you're right. Let's do it then. Thank you. I believe in this Lilac and her ability to overcome this. Mr. Lycon! You... didn't betray me? Miss Lilac, until our contract ends, I am your humble attendant. An attendant will never betray their master. Damn you! You dare toy with me? Do you know who I am? I'm the great leader of Mockingbird! I'm terribly sorry, but our Bangboo has recorded the truth of your criminal acts. If you surrender and admit your guilt now, I trust that public security will not administer too harsh of a punishment. No, I won't go to jail. Never. I have no other choice. It's time you have a taste of Mockingbird's claws! I I'm sorry. 
I shouldn't have gotten mad after you guys helped me. It's okay. Let's leave these ethereals to Lycon first. As you command. Oh, chosen one, please deliver your final judgment. Huh? Wait a minute. What did Lycon just say? You never fail to impress me, Esquire Lycon! Esquire Lycon! It's time to showcase your real power! She's getting even more edgy. is when your karmic retribution shall strike. You can't get it, Mocking Myrtle. Allow me to give you a warning. Never say that name again, or else no one will be able to save you. It is done. They should no longer be able to pose a threat. That was an impressive speech, Lycon. Yes. After we parted ways before, I took some time learning this trendy subculture. Miss Lilac, what did you think of my performance? Was it acceptable? <laughs> I... I... I am so terribly sorry. It appears my imitation of popular subculture was so poor. I have angered you to tears. Lilac isn't crying because she's angry at you. Th that's right. I I just got ether in my eye. That's all. Um I I'm sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all of this. You know, w when Mockingbird first reached out to me, I did notice they were really focused on me. They were super sus, but then they said I was one of the chosen. They said they needed my power. And you know, no one has... No one has ever said anything like that to me before. And then I just... It, it was like I just stopped thinking. I'm so, so sorry. It's all right, really. We don't think it's your fault. Miss Lila, I don't think you need to be so harsh on yourself. Each and every person will have experiences like this of some sort. I once walked the wrong path as well, but it's all right. If one can turn back in time, they will manage to find their true path in life. Thank you. God, now that I think about it, that was so embarrassing. Ugh, I can't believe I was going around proudly calling myself the companion of justice. In reality, I just got tricked by a bunch of bad guys. Well, I think what we're doing now is in the name of justice, don't you? It is only thanks to you that we were able to gain video evidence of their crimes and take them down. Mr. Lycon. I'm really sorry to ruin the mood here, but... How are we going to move the people we knocked out, out of the Hollow? Should I call PubSec? Hmm. That is indeed an issue. If needed, I can... Hey, what are you doing here? Are you the ones who called? Public security? Why are they here? Oh, I almost forgot. Before I entered the hollow, I sent an automatic SOS. If I were gone too long, my phone would automatically call PubSec. Huh. I didn't expect Lilac to be so prepared. Uh, what's up with these tied up people?
They're the legendary Phantom Thieves, Mockingbird. I believe that sums it up. We took video evidence of the criminal activities that were being committed. We will submit it all to public security shortly. I see. Well then, I'll take these suspects back with me. Um, excuse me? I'm really sorry for causing all this trouble. It's because of me that all this happened in the first place. Why are you apologizing? We should be thanking you. You helped public security take down an entire criminal syndicate. Good job, young lady. Huh? That's right, Miss Lilac. I think you do deserve the title Companion of Justice. some desserts. Please, have some. I hope you like them. My friend recommended this flavor to me, and I bought mom and dad some too. It should taste real good. Well, actually, after what happened, word had been going around that one of the students helped PubSec take down a huge crime syndicate. Everyone's real curious who it is, and saying how amazing that student is. <laughs> I know it's only thanks to you. Okay, so recently, I had an idea. And the true heroes are always behind the scenes. I've decided to draw my own comic series based on the topic. The pro tag, intent on becoming a hero, and after experiencing all kinds of encounters, eventually realizes that true justice exists in everything he's done. A story like that. Wow, that's an epic story. And you know how to draw, too? Impressive. I... I've read a lot of comics. And though I might not be all that great at drawing now, I want to try. I think that's a marvelous idea. I think so, too. Thank you so much. This all really means a lot to me. Mr. Lycon, Mom and Dad said that your contract with our family ended. They said you didn't renew it. Because your schedule is already so stacked. Though it's sad to see you go. I guess it can't be helped. But... Th there's something I want to say to you. Um... You... You're the best attendant I've ever had. I am honored to receive such praise from you. <laughs> guess I'll be off then. Let's have dessert together again. When we get the chance. You seem surprised. Lilac seems to be doing well. I didn't think she would recover so quickly. I believe the reason Miss Lilac was susceptible to manipulation was because no one had ever expressed belief in her in such a way before. Her parents didn't spend much time with her due to work, and others her age didn't understand her hobbies. Thankfully, she has now found a passion to pursue, become closer with her parents, and made new friends. I am truly happy for her. <clears throat> By the way, 
Here is your compensation. It is as we agreed, double your usual fee. I am, as ever, grateful for your help. Without you, this wouldn't have gone as smoothly as it did. Don't mention it. Come find us if you need anything like this again. Of course. You are the best proxy I know. Truly. By the way, public security has confirmed that the people we took care of were merely copycats of Mockingbird. They used the name Mockingbird for their scams and deception. You've known they were fakes for a while, haven't you? I see nothing gets past you. You could say that I am quite familiar with the real Mockingbird. Thus why, when I heard the name, I already knew something was amiss. How do you know Mockingbird? And just how familiar are you with them? I bet that's a story. I was once deeply involved. Wait, so you mean to say... Yes, it is exactly what you think. Now you know me in my entirety. I sincerely hope that this doesn't frighten you. If I may, allow me to share another secret. In reality, I have had contact with this edgy concept before. Or this popular subculture, I suppose. I have even memorized and recited such sentences. Of course, under the influence of a certain old acquaintance. Really? Care to perform one or two? Well, if that is your wish, allow me to say now that if you wish to laugh, please do. There's no need to hold it back on my account. It would not be good for your health. Well then, let me begin. I offer this supreme honor to you. In this land of sin and virtue, solemnly do I swear. Humility, courage, integrity, compassion, fairness, self-sacrifice, devotion, honor. I shall never compromise in my fight against evil. I shall never back down in my goal to uplift the downtrodden. I shall never betray my loyalty to my companions. It's loyalty to justice. Oh, Lycon, I can't believe you're having trouble memorizing such simple lines. <gasps> Could it be that there's something wrong with you here? Shut it. Uh -huh. Speaking of, why am I the only one who has to recite these cheesy as all hell lines? Because my performance is impeccable, and so I need no extra training. You, on the other hand, have slipped up thrice already. So what? We still got the job done. Using violence every time is so very boring. In any case, I want far more than just this. Imagine it, Lycon. One day, we will be like those who stand at the top under the spotlight of praise and defamation, admiration and loathing, faith or betrayal. So, doesn't that sound super entertaining? <sighs> <laughs> Save your daydreams for after we get this job done. It looks like I'm a step too late. It matters not. It's about time for a reunion, dear traitor.
大だ。Hey, don't look down on Touch my tail, head made Rena, awaiting further instructions. How can I help? Come on. Did you call me? Yeah. I'll help you win. The lunch is on you. Touch my tail, Officer 148, Ju Yuan, ready. What can I get for you? Touch my tail, and now. Huh? Is something the matter? Don't look at Officer 148, Zhu Yuan, ready.
really good.
Come in. What mods are you going for this time? Is that it? Come back next time, you hear? <laughs> 